Hey guys, it's Girl Got Game. Welcome back to Lucky Rabbit Reflex. We're doing Beck again. He's got a different path this time though, his teaching path. And for that, I have to fail my mock exams in December, which is where I am. Well, I took my mocks. I'm getting the results now. I have to earn three points or less in total. Uh, two points gained for each perfect pass. Less than 40 points in a given stat will fail. Each respective exam more than 70 will ace it. So I had less than 40 in everything. And since taking the exam, I've been trying to get my stats back up again because I need to pass all exams with flying colors in May, all stats 130 plus, and fill Beck's relationship bar and reach 150 plus charm before the 15th of May to complete this path. So there you go. And for his best ending, I have to complete the subplot and have my charm and social 230, which I'm gonna be doing anyway. So we'll start here and check our mock results. Ugh, mock results are out today. I'm almost afraid to look, even though they really aren't worth anything. Okay, here goes nothing. Oh, wow. That's really all I got? I thought for sure I'd do at least a little better. Markers at the school must be harsh. Ugh, and if this means what I think it does. Oh, Miss Rosie. I can see those aren't the results you were expecting, were they? I'm sure you're capable of much more than this. Uh, yes, sir. <sighs> I'm afraid it's remedial classes for this month, Rosie. But don't think of this as a punishment. Hopefully they'll give you time to collect your thoughts and structure your revision in future, hmm? Yeah. Uh, thanks, sir. I'm sorry. Ugh, a whole month of revision classes? There go my Saturdays. This brings back detention classes and Hieronymus Grabener. Does anybody remember that? Those were good times. Also, detention classes with Donald were pretty good, too. <laughs> okay, so that's the first thing. I'll bring you in next week when we do our first remedial class, I guess, guys. All right. Uh, I guess I kind of brought it upon myself, but I can't believe I've got to give up my Saturdays for a whole month. These remedial classes had better be worth it. <sighs> Not much he's complaining about it, though. Guess I best get going. Huh. Looks like there are quite a few people here. Not that I'm complaining. Makes me feel like less of a dunce, at least. Hey. Now, now, kids. You're never going to learn out if you carry on like this. Can we get a little quiet, please? Oh, hey. Looks like that new teacher is in charge of the remedial classes, too. Maybe they won't be so bad after all. He doesn't look particularly strict. Now, as an educator, it worries me that you lot don't seem to be taking your studies seriously. And by worries me, I mean I'm worried about what I might do if I end up having to waste more than four Saturdays with you little bleeders. So I'd be hitting the books if I were you. I guess I don't mind helping you out a little if you really need it. You're lucky you've got a nice guy like me in charge, really. Miss Chahan would have had you writing essays. Trust me, this thing's gonna be plain sailing. And you might even scrape a couple of A-levels at the end of it. What do you say? Huh. I'm planning on doing more than just scraping by, thank you very much. But he's right, I guess I'd better hit the books. Ah. Huh. It's a shame I have to be here, but at least I'm learning something. All stats plus five. That is a day well spent. That wasn't too painful, I guess. Three more Saturdays and I'm home free. I guess he's a good teacher. We got all our stats up. Thanks, Beck. All right, I'll bring you in for the next scene then, guys. Well, I've got to say, Beck is an awesome teacher. We have never failed any of our remedial classes, so... Who would have known? He's actually a decent teacher. This is our last Saturday here. Oh, so glad this is my last day. Feels like forever since I've had my Saturdays to myself. I'd best get this over and done with. All right. Huh. Well, I don't know if I can say those classes were actually useful, but at least they're over and done with now. I can't wait to spend next Saturday morning in bed. I think I'm just going to go home and sleep. Though, hey, isn't that Beck? There's some girl with him, but she doesn't look like a student. Oh, her. One of the floozies from the tattoo shop. Hey, sorry about that. We kind of overran a little. 
You could have waited for me in the canteen, you know. Some of the stuff in those vending machines isn't half bad. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. The dinner ladies kept giving me dirty looks last time, and uh, one of the teachers threatened to send me home for turning up out of uniform. I, I don't look that young, do I? Uh, I take it as a compliment. Who wouldn't want to look 16, right? I is that why you're working here, Beck? I mean, I know I'm 19, and I'm not getting any younger, but... Hey, hey, don't get me wrong. It's my passion for education, and the fact that my dad was worried that I'd be out sniffing glue otherwise that got me this job. Not any kind of perverse schoolgirl lust. You know I like my women mature, right? Ah yes, the mature 19-year-old. <laughs> oh, Beck. Oh, okay. Hey, don't worry about it. We'll go back to mine, catch a film, get some drinks. Sound good? Uh, yeah, yes uh, thank you. Huh, my pleasure. Hmm. Perverse schoolgirl lust? I guess the skirts here are pretty sh short, but still. I'm a schoolgirl in this game. <laughs> this doesn't bode well for me so far. E. Right yo. Well, on to the next scene, guys. Well, now that we can date back, uh, we get to ask him a question that we didn't get to previously because we had too much affection for each other already. We can ask him what his favorite food is, so let's do that. Huh, that was kind of out of the blue. <laughs> sorry. All the sitting about is making me kind of hungry. Are you allowed to eat in here? When I've got a needle in someone, generally no. We've got a room in the back, though. But my favorite food? Huh. I've never really thought about it. I like all sorts, really. It's just the preparation that's the killer. So you make your own food, then? I always thought you student types lived off takeaways. Tch. You think all this happened by accident? You don't get a physique like this eating donor kebabs every night, Rosie. My body is quite clearly a temple. I wouldn't say I'm a health freak, but I like to take care of myself, you know. Generally, if it's a color that doesn't exist in nature, and I can taste grease before I've even taken a bite, I don't put it in me. It's as good a philosophy as any, I guess. Too right. Plus, I'm an awesome cook. Maybe I'll make you a little something one of these days, Rosie. What do you say? Well, you've got my expectations pretty high after all this, but sure, I look forward to it. I'm sure you're an amazing chef, but a little humility wouldn't go amiss either, Beck. And that's how we would have known about the pancakes, I guess. If we had ever found out the answer to that question. Right, good to know. On to the next thing. He's interrupted our schedule and our staff building to tell us something, I guess, about our staff building. Huh. You know, I hardly ever see you without a book in your hands, Rosie. Where'd this newfound passion for schoolwork come from? Well, you know, failing the mocks was one thing, but I really want to pass my A-levels, you know? I just figured I'd best get revising now if I want a chance of getting decent marks. Huh. Well, that's pretty admirable anyway. It's a shame more of the wasters in this place don't take a leaf out of your book, Rosie. Keep it up. Will do, sir. Aye aye, Captain. You can count on me. Alright. Back to staff building to something else happens, I guess. Hmm. Sometime later. Heh. <laughs> Another A star. A plus? Does A star have an A plus in England? If I keep this up, those dismal mock exam results will be nothing but a distant memory. Huh. You really wrote this all yourself. Eh? Of course I did. Didn't I cite my sources properly or something? Because I swear I didn't plagiarize and... Hey, no, I wasn't accusing you of anything. It's just, you know, I'm thinking, is this really the same girl who was taking remedial classes not so long ago? This is really impressive, Rosie. Ah, uh, really? Thanks. I was just scared that I'd end up failing my actual A-levels as well. <laughs> well, at this rate, there's not much danger of that. Oh, it kind of makes me think, you know. If I tried a little harder back in the day, maybe I could have turned it around too. Huh? What do you mean? I mean, uh, you don't seem like much of a failure to me. 
I'm thinking your standards aren't particularly high, no offense. And besides, the me you're seeing here, the clean-cut teacher, I wouldn't really call this the real me. This is just the me who has family connections to the education racket. Without that, I'd have been back at my tattoo parlor doing God knows what with God knows who. Oh. So you went off the rails a bit at school, then? <laughs> Seems like it would have been a lifetime ago looking at me now, right? I can't say I'm exactly on the straight and narrow right now, either. I only left school, what, six years ago? These things don't happen overnight, I guess. It's a shame, you know. I think if I'd known someone like you six years ago, well, things might have turned out differently, I guess. Wow, what a compliment. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what exactly did you do? Uh, it's no secret. Let's just say I was high maybe 80, 90% of the time. Probably the latter, to tell you the truth. But don't get me wrong, I wasn't an addict or anything. It was all youthful experimentation, you know. Getting high at parties, that sort of thing. It was probably that, combined with not studying at all, that led to me just about scraping by with my GCSEs. And by that point, I was all, Hey, I'm gonna own a tattoo parlor someday. What do I need A-levels for? And I skipped the whole sixth form thing altogether. Luckily for me, I'm a regular Rembrandt, and I managed to get into North Main Uni with a portfolio that would have brought tears to your eyes. But I understand not everyone is so lucky. Seriously, I should show you some of my art sometimes. You'll see angels. Really now? Hmm. Don't suppose you're looking for a model to draw? A? A? I'll be the rose to your jack, if you know what I mean. Winku. <laughs> Ah, uh, I can't wait, says Rosie to my inner musings. Anyway, that's enough about me. A young guy like me rattling off his life story like some geri geriatric. What's the world coming to, eh? You keep up the good work anyway, Rosie. I want to see certificates come August. Uh, I'll try my best. I don't know, Beck. You seem to have turned things around pretty well from where I'm standing. Okay, so that's his story about where he is now in life. Very interesting. Very interesting. Alright, well, I'll bring you in for the next scene, guys. I don't know why the phone stopped ringing, but it stopped ringing. The phone is ringing right now. It's just on silent. I guess that's how we'll explain this away. Anyway, huh, I wonder who that could be vibrating my phone. Uh, hello? Hey, Rosie. It's Beck. You're not in the middle of anything, are you? Uh, hello. Ah, some music. That's good. Uh, no. But this is unusual, getting a phone call from you. I'm not in trouble or anything, am I? Yeah, we never got called from you except for the one time for that job, so I'm a little... sketchball about all this now. Huh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Actually, I was just wondering. You're not busy later on today, are you? It's just that I have this project I need your help with, but there's no pressure, you know, and it's not academic, so it's not going to count for anything. What do you say? Hmm. Uh, I mean, sure, I'm not busy. What sort of project is it? Ah, uh, well, it's kind of hush-hush. You'll have to come over to my place for it. But it shouldn't take too long, so, you know, like I said, no pressure. Probably best if you don't tell anyone about this, though. Uh, okay. I'll be there to pick you up in a little while. See you in a few. Uh, sure. What have I got myself into? I think I need an adult. Don't tell anyone about this? What's going on, Beck? Mm. Beck's flat? This is where we Did I miss that the first time in- Oh, good grief. Did I miss that last time? Where? Oh, dear. We're in his bedroom. He's got a... Do you seriously have a full mirror next to the bed? Ah! Okay. Okay, I thought. This is fine. Nothing sketchy is happening. This is gonna be fine. Sip of coffee for courage. <sighs> All right. 
Yeah, basically what you're saying now, Rosie. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I can't believe I'm actually here. I must be crazy. I'm pretty sure just being in a teacher's bedroom is breaking like 50 laws. W what should I do? Am I really going to go through with this? Uh... <laughs> uh... I guess I'll just wait and see what happens. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do. And it's Beck, right? He's a nice enough guy. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Where'd he get off to anyway? Oh god, what if he left me alone to change into something more comfortable? Maybe I should take off my jumper or something? I don't know. Who knows, any second now he might come in here totally na- Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Phew. Whew. Bear with me just a little longer, Rosie. God knows what my flatmates have done with all my stuff. Stuff? What kind of stuff could he possibly need? I really don't think I'm ready for this. Um, are you okay? You look like you're about to keel over. Huh? Uh, I'm fine, but really. It's just that, uh, you know, I'm kind of nervous. Huh, really? Funny what a little change of scenery can do to you, huh? Honestly, there's nothing to be- Wait a second. You're not thinking that I'm- Oh, for God's sake. I guess having you wait in my bedroom wasn't the brightest of ideas, huh? Huh? Look, this is kind of embarrassing, but... I'm not going to... do anything to you. It's just that I share this place with a load of other guys. And I figured this was the cleanest place to put you, I swear. Uh, oh. I mean, obviously. I wasn't thinking that at all. Oh, I guess my reputation precedes me, huh? Well, I mean, you are kind of always with a different girl. N not that I'm judging. <laughs> nah, I kind of deserve that. It's all gotta catch up with you sometime, I guess. Whew. I thought this was going to be a repeat of Yuri for a second. <laughs> this is going to sound kind of weird, but... I only asked you here because I wanted to draw you. Paint your portrait, you know. Nothing that'll get me fired. Ah! It's actually happening! The Titanic drawing! Draw me like one of your French girls! Scene is happening! I'd have done it at school, but the cleaners are in the art rooms pretty much as soon as the bell rings, and we'd have been in the way, you know. Uh, you want to draw me? Why? Uh, well... I know I'm gonna sound like a complete idiot, but bear with me. You're, uh, you're kind of inspiring, Rosie. I mean, you've really managed to turn things around, you know. Most of the kids we get in the remedial classes are pretty much aiming for C's at best, but you... You're really dedicated, and I kind of respect that. It makes me feel like there's hope for me yet, if you know what I mean. Plus, uh, and don't tell anyone I said this, I swear to god, but you know you're gorgeous, right? N not in a sleazy way, just like the way you carry yourself, and your fashion sense, and your art, and- uh -huh, this stays between these four walls, okay? Y yeah sure Wow. I'd never have imagined Beck felt that way about me. And here I thought he'd chase after pretty much anything in a skirt. <laughs> Same. Wow, we're getting like some major confessions here. Who would have known? Uh, I don't really know what to say. I mean, I really like... Uh, not wanting to cut you off, but... It's probably best if I don't hear it, you know. I mean, I could get the sack for even having you here, but I thought there... If I thought there was even a chance... You get what I'm saying, right? Um... I guess so? Oh, shame you're not a couple of years older, huh? Well, how old are you? You're not much older than I am, right? Uh, I turned 22 in December, but that's not really the point. Dad, well, Mr. Pachaku to you, I guess. He's really sticking his neck out here, you know, trying to put me on the straight and narrow and that giving me this job. If it ever got out that I... well... Let's just say that if anything happened, they'd hold him responsible and he'd never find work again. 
but but anyway, that uh, that's neither here nor there. We're just here for the art, right? Uh, sure. You'll uh, you'll humor me and be my muse for a couple of hours, right? And uh, you can stop gripping your jumper so tightly. It'll be a fully clothed portrait. No funny business. Can you blame me? You can never tell what you artistic types are thinking. But I don't think anyone's ever called me their muse before. How can I refuse? Ooh. The focus, though. Very nice, very nice. Huh. I don't think I've ever seen him look so serious. It's kind of hard to keep a straight face with him glaring down at the canvas like that. Yeah, I can imagine. Hey, don't move. It's distracting. <laughs> Sorry, didn't think you could see me. Try not to talk, either. I'm almost done. Mm-hmm. But you said that at least half an hour ago. My nose really itches. <laughs> huh. You really want a portrait of you scratching your nose to pass down to your grandchildren? Uh, not really? Bear with me a few more minutes, then. I really am almost finished this time, honest. I've got pins and needles in my legs, too. This had better be worth it. How are you posing? I gotta know. And... I think it's done. Oh, finally. This sitting still malarkey's harder than I thought. You don't mind if I have a look, do you? What, now? That'd be a little... anticlimactic, wouldn't you think? I'm one for dramatic unveilings myself. I'd say sitting here for two hours and not getting to see anything at the end of it is way more anticlimactic, to be honest. <laughs> You'll thank me for it, honest. Just let me build up the suspense a little first, you know. Thanks for being my model for a little while anyway, Rosie. It means a lot. Ah, uh, no problem. Wow. It really seems as if he put his heart and soul into it. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Yeah, I am intrigued, to say the least. My goodness. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll bring you in. I guess it'll be the dance soon. And uh, we'll see if we get our best ending or not. I just realized the dance was only a couple of days away. You could have just hung out for the couple of things that I uh, did stat building wise, but eh. Anyway, I went shopping. This is what I'm going to wear. Sexy black dress, pashmina, and bracelet. So let's do it. And we'll skip ahead a bit. Okay, so Dis and Merle still help me get a dress. Well, the fewer people see me wearing this, the better, I guess. Maybe the main hall isn't the best place to be right now. Ooh. Ah, <sighs> tonight just can't get any worse. <sighs> what, what are you dressed as? Hey! Oh! Well, I'd have to do, I guess. Beggars can't be choosers and all that. What? H hold on a second! <laughs> I'm in love with the bridal carry. It's like, ugh, clench my heart. Ooh. I've got to admit, I'm getting a little suspicious. Shh. I hope you don't make a habit of carrying girls into dark classrooms. You're really ruining the moment, you know. It's the unveiling. Ah! It's so cute! <laughs> And he signed it in, Jap in Kenji. That's so cute. That's how you see her. I'm pretty sure I wore an, a more awesome outfit than that when you drew me, but whatever. Oh my god, is that me? You made me look so... so... Beautiful. Gorgeous. Stunning. Because, you know, those are all pretty common reactions to my work. Though, to be honest... In this case, I didn't add anything that wasn't already there. <laughs> thanks. Anyway, I brought you here to discuss the issue of payment. Eh? Payment? But how can I... 
You didn't think I'd give my work away for free, did you? <sighs> and here I thought you were being a gentleman. <laughs> How naive. Woo! You should know by now that I'm no gentleman. Wow! Wee! Woo! <laughs> and I don't do refunds either. <laughs> You got me good. And so, my first and final year at North Main College came to an end. I'd say it was a wonderful year overall. My A-level results were pretty amazing, and more than enough to get me into the uni I applied for. Result? I spent a lazy summer hanging out with Beck at the tattoo parlor. He even convinced me to get a little one, sans parental permission, Natch. Here's hoping my family never read this. He graduated uni with a two... to... Something, I still don't know. Is that a one? Eh. Which is pretty amazing, considering how little work he actually did. I guess he wasn't kidding when he said his art could bring a tear to your eye. With me going to the local uni and him working full-time at the tattoo parlor, we see each other all the time. I think I've even picked up a thing or two. All in all, my time at North Main College isn't one I'll ever forget. Who knows what the future holds? It's a little exciting just thinking about it. Ah, oh, that was so sweet and wonderful! Uh, it had so many romantic things that I loved, and I'm just... Ugh. Yeah, that's my favorite ending. <laughs> it doesn't take much! Bridal carry, gorgeous artwork of oneself, cheesy romance lines before kiss. It's just... Mwah. Beck, you nailed it. Nailed it, sweetie. Anyway, we are not done yet. Oh, no, no, no. Because now that we've done Beck's route in its entirety. It's time to do the Rhett and Beck dual ending, which is gonna be amazing. I can't even begin to imagine how that's gonna go. So, wish me luck trying to romance both these guys, and I gotta break one of their hearts at the end, but <laughs> it should be fun? Question mark. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing that, and to be honest, who are you guys kidding? Of course you are. I shall see you over there, guys. Thanks again for watching, and until then, I'll see you later.